Hello everyone. Oh my goodness, we've gone from winter to summer here in Indiana. <laughs> uh, winter to summer. You know, we had like the three weekends in a row where we had the ice storms every weekend. And I was having problems trying to keep my chicks warm. Well, now I'm having a hard time keeping them cool. <laughs> so I've got to get up there and check on them. I've got the dogs in the kennel for a little while so that way I can do a little more. I want to make sure everybody has some fresh water, get all my buckets and everything ready for tomorrow morning early. This new schedule has really been hard on me, but it's been very hard on the animals. They're used to me being here at a certain time. Um, they expect certain things at a certain time. And I think that um, they're not adjusting well. <laughs> So I will tell you this, that if you do have chickens and you need chicken feed, tractor supplies, um, layer crumbles and pellets are $4 cheaper than they have been. They were up to $15.97. Right now they're $11.97. I grabbed two bags today. I'll probably grab some more this weekend and just fill all of my, my things up. Um, I'm going to do very little grocery shopping. Um, there are some deals I'm going to do though at Kroger. Um, there is a strawberry deal. Um, I want to get some strawberries. Um, really, that's it. <laughs> I did not get the, I did get some thighs the last time I was at Kroger. Um, they were 99 cents a pound. And I'm going to cook those for Thor and get those shredded up this weekend. The ones that I cooked uh, the weekend before last, I'm going to feed them to the chickens. I'm going to give them some extra protein this week. So I'm cleaning out the fridge tonight and um, we'll get my buckets ready so that way in the morning I can just jet out and just put everybody's little snacks out so that way when they get up um, they'll have their snacks, their foods, their waters and hopefully everybody be okay until I get home. Um, <laughs> the snake. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm not scared of snakes. I've never been scared of snakes. Snakes do not bother me. Um, but when she was stretched out and I, and I'm calling her a her because she, it was very, very Gentile <laughs> kind of, um, it wasn't a male snake. It was very feminine. I don't know. But anyway, when it stretched out, I bet it was four foot long. It was a thin snake. Now I don't know if it was a king snake or a rat snake, or is it a king rat snake? I don't know, but I know that these snakes grow very, very big. Um, I think they are living in our garage that we don't use. There's like a, a, there's an empty area up there and I'm pretty sure they're, they're in there. My husband, I did not know was terrified of snakes. I will not allow him to kill snakes on this property, but, um, the night that I videotaped that he's the next morning, so what we do is he stays up all night and then I get up in the morning and then he goes to bed. So we kind of, that little bit of time, which is like an hour, hour and a half or whatever, while I'm drinking my first cup of coffee and letting the dogs in and out and getting everybody situated and getting ready to go feed now that we're in this real weird routine. You know, we do some quick talk and we talk about our bills real quick. Um, what happened the day before real quick, if there's anything important, um, if there's anything that I need to let him know about, maybe... I don't know, whatever, or maybe there's something he needs to let me know about. This is the time where we have our little chit chat. Um, <laughs> and he said something to me. And of course I had just woke up, sat down, first cup of coffee, let the dogs in and out, sitting there drinking my first cup of coffee. And he looks at me, he goes, there's something wrong with what Raven and <laughs> Onyx. And I was like, what, what's wrong? What, what happened? He said every time he would take them out, they would come around at that door area and like sniff, but like back up. And Raven was really freaked out about it. I said, she was. And I started laughing because I knew it was about the snake. And so I said, well, you want to see something? So I turned my tablet around and I turn on YouTube and I put it on. He was like, where was that? And I was like, right out the back door. He was like, did you kill it? I said, why no? He says, oh my God, did it get in the house? I was like, no. So sorry. My husband is terrified of snakes and he, <laughs> but it was just really cool. Cause he was like, there's something wrong with the dogs and around the side of the, where your bins are. Something's something's wrong. <laughs> no, that's where they saw a snake. 
So it was kind of funny to watch his reaction while he was watching it. His eyes bugged out. Oh my God. But if you are scared of snakes, I get it. I get it. I'm not scared of spiders. I'm not scared of snakes. He's scared of both. And then he proceeded to tell me that he killed three spiders in the bathroom the other day. I said, really? <laughs> I said, I might've had them named. <laughs> so anyway, I um, thought that was really cute. Um, to anybody that actually watched it and left a comment, thank you for watching and commenting. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was really funny. Um, it was their birthday and there was no wrapping any gifts. They were obnoxious. Um, so I just gave them their gifts and I'm going to, I'm going to do a replay probably this weekend. I do have a couple more things to wrap and I'll let them open it on video camera so you can see that we have trained them to open gifts. Maybe we'll see, but yeah, there, there, there has been no relief the past few days. It's my head has been hurting that bad. And, um, so next Friday I go to a neurological psychologist to see if there was any cognitive loss from the time that I got hit until now. You know, maybe things have changed a little bit. I don't really know. There's a lot of issues that I'm having that are not my normal speed. Um, but I haven't heard about the surgeon yet. Um, but boy, they want to get you in there to psychoanalyze your, your little brain. So I've got to go all the way to Plainfield, Indiana. Um, if you're not interested, if you're not familiar with Indiana, it's like past Indianapolis, which is mid Indiana. So I will be having a ride. I made it very clear to them that I would not drive that far. There's no way. I'm not driving to Plainfield, Indiana. You want me to see this doctor and not one here close, then you're going to pay for it. So it was arranged. It's going to be a long drive to and from. It's going to be a long day. I have to be there all day, like from 930 in the morning until like, like five at night, something like that to do all these different tests. And then we get breaks and lunch breaks and I don't know. I just want to see the surgeon so I can see if I can be okay. Mentally, we know I'm not okay. All right. So this week um, at Kroger, there are some decent sales. Um, strawberries is a weekly digital. I am going to grab one pack of strawberries. That's it. I don't need any more strawberries. I've got plenty in the freezer. Um, what was the other thing I, I was going to really go after? Oh, <laughs> the Bic razors. They have a weekly digital for two ninety seven, two forty seven, two forty seven. 247. It looks like everything's 247 on the weekly digital. There's some decent deals. Um, and I've got, um, a $1 off and then I have a $4 off one. So that's $6 off, which is going to give me like, I don't know, four cents or six cents overage. So I'm going to get two packs of Bic razors for free. That's a good stock up. Awesome. Something else I noticed in my digitals was like Kroger Chlor or Chlor blah, 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 Kroger bleach and their dish liquids, their laundry detergents, things like that. There's lots of little Kroger, um, digitals. So you could probably do very well and stock up. I think the, like their toilet paper, paper towels, they have digitals in there for them as well. Now I will say at Dollar General, the Charmin, there is a Charmin and it is on sale for, 425 there's a dollar off digital which makes them 325 so I am going to put that into a scenario this weekend a five off of 25 um, <laughs> I did find all of the Colgate um, coupons that give all the overage so I looked at my store they were out of stock of everything I'm going to probably go to one different store 
and see it. There was not a five off of 25 digital, but I do have two papers um, because I did stop and get a couple of things this week. Let's see. It's hot. And so I'm starting to reevaluate how I've got my garden area set up and where I'm going to be planting things. Um, it's just so hot. The sun is just so crazy. So I'm going to have to get a few things changed around. I need to bring my aloe plants out of the house. So I, and that's going to make it easier for me to get into my freezer so I can go through my freezer, pull out stuff, cook for the chickens or the dogs or the cat. Um, and then put some of some of the stuff I have in the smaller freezer in there um, for longer st storage. Oh, what a hot mess. And I already filled that little crevice that I showed you in my cabinet, so I definitely have to pull out the other stuff so I can put the rest of my stuff that I'm canning right there. Um, yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting anything done. This new this new schedule is just horrible for me. 7:30 in the morning until 11:30 in the morning. Um, you know, 11.30 is about the time that I'm ready to leave the house to go to work on a normal basis. So that means I've got everybody fed, watered, fed, watered, fed, watered, and everybody has gotten their treats, their snacks, everybody's set. The dogs have been pottied, they're in their kennels, everybody is ready to go, and then I come home and, and check on everybody. This new schedule, you know, I'm only gone a very short amount of time, but the time that it that I have I'm getting up at 4 30 in the morning drinking a cup of coffee running out checking all the babies making sure all the babies have fresh water and food turning off heat lamps because they don't need them during the day but it's still chilly I'm leaving the windows open in there so that way they can kind of get used to it um and then I I go and I do these girls I do these girls and the ducks I get them fed and watered then I run out there and I feed and water all the other chickens in the barn, including my six girls, but I check them with the babies too. So I'm really kind of keeping an eye on them. Um, and, and then I leave here at like 6.30. So that gives me two hours from up to get everybody ready and me ready to leave for work for four hours but what's really sucking is because Wes's group with his four girls and Frazzle are used to being turned out at like daylight and they get to romp and then I come in and we feed and everybody has a routine that's just not happening right now and it's just really really hard so saving money getting on a routine and trying to get well those are like my three major things right now and it's slow y'all have a great day hugs from a distance if this didn't make any sense i'm sorry i just talked about me bye y'all